everyone is here. Hey, I told you not to worry, didn't I? Fido and Hamada would never forget about us. Hey, Nine, you should try to enjoy the party, too. Okay. And we are back. The so last time, we had to deal with some really, really silly criminals in order to deal with a theft of Nato. This time, things will hopefully be a little less silly. So it's hard to get more silly than a big mission over Nato. Alright. I dealt with our cash last time and spending impact points. So next um so next mission. Hey, do we need skill point? Let's do still um skill program to span. Concentration. Increase the speak mantle. Consumption for one spirit command. Um. I actually want to assign this to one of the ship captains. Dot. Rory with us. That should work. All right, new mission. Shogun Mifune. All right, I'll agree to. Thank you, Shogun Mifune. There's just one catch. What would that be? I've heard rumors about you, Fukushin. I thought I'd hire you when things settled down. What do you think? I gotta stop reading that because it's just they they hum so much in the show. Also, Hakushin, your your face, your eyes. You have like one iris that is like needle point, and the other one that's regular size. Of course, I get cut Kusakabi's approval as well. You'll get two, no, three times what you make now. Huh. Ugh. Quite the sense of humor, Shogun. <laughs> Nothing gets past you. I was just testing your loyalty. Well done, Hakushin. You passed with flying colors. We who live in the darkness have no use for a peaceful world or anything of the like. If the world falls into your hands, we will be expelled from our home. I... I see. Please excuse me. Give my regards to Mr. X. Hmm. I think Hokushin had Mifune a little unnerved there, and I suspect that Hokushin thinks, Oh, maybe I have bitten off more than I can chew. These are real villains. I I'm just a campy silver, a campy super villain. It'd be like if you had a, a golden age or silver age super villain running into a bronze age or iron age villain without having doing any updating steps for the silver age for the silver age villain, like with um, yeah. So rude to you, Master Bifune. Just give me the word, and I'll bring you his head. That won't be necessary. Why not? This man is darkness. A darkness that lo no light can reach. Once inside, there's no turning back. <laughs> oh, Akito, you, that, that outfit makes you stick out like a sore thumb. Like, there is no setting that you wouldn't stick out in, in that outfit. Maybe Marvel 2099, but that's pretty much it. Thank you, Akito, your visit really brightened my day. Visiting someone important, I finally know a bit about how it feels. You mean Eureka, Banjo told me. Uh, 
I lost my grandma and grandpa and others in that fight, but thanks to you, Pepe and the others survived. I won't forget that. I'm eternally grateful. Where is Kepe? Is it in Graves? Graves, huh? Are we the only ones answering the call to arms? According to Captain Hoshido and Pistons and Fuji, they've reached out to others as well. But time has passed since the Lizard War, and many have moved on with their lives already. We didn't contact any of them this time around. That was of the idol, Megumi, the high school teacher, Minato, and the shopkeeper, Aomei. So how this planned out in the movie, really I'm, I'm speaking somewhat secondhand, it's been a while since I've seen it, is we get a getting the band back together montage, where basically Ruri gets the crew of the non-disco back together and doing various things to free them up so they can rejoin the crew, like helping um, Megumi with her anime that she's doing voice acting for, and so forth and so on. I believe this also includes for the pilot who is um, the uh, manga author, they end up being her assistants. It's a, it's almost the Blues Brothers in super robot anime form, and with much more serious stakes. What about Uri P? Uh, her car was the one who ended up doing a uh, manga system before. What about Uri P? Seems like she'd come on her own. Saya said that his wife is busy with a baby right now. I believe the term is with child or pregnant, but hey, you localize the way you want to. I've probably heard Super Robot Wars X has a significantly improved localization. I'm looking forward to getting that in turn. But I've got. I want to do um, wizardry before I get to X. Well, I guess there's no calling her then. But you know, pros, you really need more than what we were getting with the former non disco squad. You're, you're taking on the entire Mars and successors, plus you're taking on um, these various super robot gangs who the successors have hired. You're going to need all the help you can get. Yes, I think we do. Then what about them? I can't say I've ever met them, but still. There is no need for them to fight anymore. Ruri, they've already seen enough bloodshed. Yeah. But if you're, if they found out you're in trouble, and you didn't come for help, they'd be really ticked. If you insist, Captain. Hmm. Are there, hmm. What's wrong, Maito? Nothing. Captain, it's time. Understood. Let's head to the rendezvous point. Game. Takasugi, it's been too y'all too long. Apologies for being out of touch. Get me going. Who are those two? These two. Minato, ha Minato Haruka and Yukina Shiratori. Lover and younger sister of, of Tsukimo Shiratori. Man in United Earth and the Jovian Federation. They lived together since the Lizard War ended. Hero who died too soon. I read about him. A lot of what you read was exaggerated. But Shiratori was a serious, serious, passionate man who thought only of Earth and Federation future. I, I know, it must have been if Sarbaruta wasn't willing to come all the way out here to visit the gate of his grave. Sarbaruta was Shiratori's junior. I also wanted to visit my parents' grave, but why are you here, Shitose? Closer to visit the grave, even if this isn't the final resting place. My mother, father, you, and all the people from my planet. I promise you I will rescue Yamato and return to Earth in time to save it. I reached out to you for, after hearing from Hikaru that, that you were in Japan, but is everything okay? Yeah, Nidosko hasn't had much work lately. We've mostly been taking it easily, easy. And by taking it easy, I mean we've been fighting really silly super robot, super robot enemies. Over in Nato. Oh, really? But now we have the Martian successors to deal with. It's Kiyukina, the outdated troublemakers who failed to reconnect, 
recognize how much the Jovian Federation has changed. If you think that's not a threat, then clearly you weren't you haven't seen Gundam Unicorn yet and what was going on with Neo Zeon there. Sooner or later, heroes are bound to appear and do away with them for us. Sabruta, you are those heroes. Takasugi, I'm no child. I'm not about to fall for that Geki Gangar like scenario. But I see. There are people in the real world doing what they can. Thank you. Not only that, we got more people coming today. Hello. Been a while, Rui. Where's it Captain Hoshino now? The Jin family. Don't be surprised, we're also visiting graves. Aizamon, Ume, and Gengoro? Yeah. That's Kapai Jin, known for the Zambot 3. Oh! That is another um, Tomino joint. Those Tomino's rather dark and gritty um, super robot anime that predated Gundam by a couple years. Invincible Superman Zambot 3. That is the show that Tomino's Kill Em All nickname came from. They look like kids. You know them? I never personally met them. Kapei Jin. Ushita Kama, Kamine, and Keiko Kamakita. Those Jin family, they're descendants from the billions who fled to Earth. I have not actually seen all of Zambot 3, but I know it by reputation. Billions and Zambot 3. They involved in the Gaizok incident? Yes, they were. The mysterious Gaizok force that launched an attack on Earth from outer space. The rise of the A laws hurt the Federation. To make matters worse, they're more with Zack to delay their response even further. The result is the descendants of the Billions had to board the Zambot 3 robots left them and fight against their old enemy, Gaizok. I've heard the fight was a sad and lonely affair. What, so nobody came to the aid of the heroes who dared to step and cut up the invaders? That's not quite how it went. For further reading, for further viewing, we recommend that you watch Zambot 3, currently having not been licensed by anyone anywhere, but will probably, if it does get licensed, will be licensed by Distant Media. Maybe, possibly, I don't know, by um, Sentai Filmworks, as that's somewhat how they roll. But yes, um, Zambot's kind of been a fixture in uh, the um, Super Robot Wars anime. Halo and others did not approve of the existence of Zambot 3. They said the Earth was only being invaded because Gaizok was chasing the Billions. They didn't! Only better, the citizens believed the Jin family would be behind it all. The result was that they were all perse persecuted for their actions. Of course, there were some people willing to support them. It's okay, Maito. Cafe. Imagine how much better it would have gone if the Federation had chosen to cooperate. It might have gone better, but there were still a lot of people willing to help us either way. If Akito and Ruri hadn't shown up when they did, I think Jitaro and us would have ended up dead. Spoilers! That's how Zambot ends. True, and in the end, everyone learned the truth and apologized to us. Are you really okay with that? Everyone just suddenly taking your side like nothing happened? You're not hung up on the past. Not like me or my father or grandfather were ever fighting for recognition. Cape. I'm sorry I asked. My apologies. Don't worry about it. My heart is bigger than the seas. I can let it slide this time. Not really seeing much growth here. I told you not to say that. So, uh, Cape? Oops, almost forgot. We're not the only ones visiting graves. Hey! Hmm. Akito, you are a terrible Char. You are worst Char clone. Uh, Akito? It's the second anniversary of Inez's death. I should have recognized Inez sooner. Captain Kido, the Captain and Inez weren't the only ones who died and went missing back then. Most in jump class A. People who can set their destination to ruins. Navigators. That is a poorly structured sentence. That is like, like on the moon. How did it get there? Level poorly structured. Everyone was taken by the Martian successors. Taken? I don't, I don't know what happened to you or the others, Akito. It's better that way. I don't actually want to know, but why didn't you tell us? 
they were alive it wasn't necessary. I see. Listen to yourself. You sure seemed you could think you could rescue her back then. Akito didn't want Rui to get dragged into it. Akito. Just looking at it was enough to see how sad the whole thing was. He only fought alone that others wouldn't have to experience it. That's enough, Cafe. That's enough! It's enough from you, too! Um. I get that you didn't want to drag others into it, but there were a whole lot of people out there waiting for a word from you. Why can't you understand that? Think about how Ruri must have felt. Go away. Akito! Don't do anything stupid, Akito Tenkala. You're coming with us. What's with them? We are the shadow of the Martian successes, people born from the darkness. I'll say it one more time. You're coming with us. Shut up. And you have his lines showing up. Uh, uh, Akito, they came for me. Get away while you can. Unfortunately, we're surrounded. What about the others? Kill them. Girl, seize her. Old pupils like those of Lapis, quite spine bright created by humans. One of the few ultimate coordinator successes. A great but how good. I'm confident you'll contribute to one of the many great breakthroughs in one of our labs. So it was you. You're the ones objecting past the jumpers. That's right. We are the shadow of the Mars' successors. Twisted humans who have gone astray. Everything we do is for the new order. <laughs> huh? New order? How absurd. Suko Tsukikomi. It's true that the end result of new order and chaos will end result of destruction and chaos will give birth to new order, that all births are accompanied by pain, but Kusakabe lacks virtue! It's been a while, Jinichiro Tsukiyomi, the traitor who sold out Jupiter. You're right, I betrayed my friends in Jupiter and am now no more than a Nurgle dog. But, uh, but you know, Hokushin, it is not I who will kill you. Who then? Akito Tenkawa? Um, others who are after you. A man with light who cuts through the dark. Him. Nurgle Signal Service, drop your weapons! Don't! He's the... Going with that hair? He clearly must be the greatest of all time. Long time no see, Minato. You've got nothing to worry about now. Hmm. It's a place for the dead to rest in peace. Give yourselves up. And if we don't, we get a one-way ticket to hell. Everyone, get below me! Yes, sir. Here. What are you trying to pull? A jump. Individual potion jump? Perhaps they've established a way of contacting the calculation unit. I didn't, don't think they're going to give up that easily. Next time they'll come bearing Mecha. They went out of here, Sukum. Tsukiyomi. Understood. Tsukiyomi. I'm not giving anyone any excuse. This is all for the future. The future our friends... Kubo Shiratori wanted. Okay. Hmm. Cafe. It's okay, Cafe. We're safe now. Yeah. Cafe, I want to give you this. This is some kind of car key. Yeah, that's a factory's second underground hangar. Something is waiting for you there. Aito. What about Cafe? He has a decision to make. Hmm. I think I know what the decision is. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.